want to tell you that on behalf of Ontario's NDP, I'm very, very proud to be here. Uh, it's a fantastic festival. Congratulations to all of you and congratulations to the members of the Philippine Independent State Council of Toronto, all of the volunteers, all of the associations. You've done a fantastic job and everybody's having a great time. I want to say that uh, Sherry DeNovo, the MPP for Parkdale High Park, was here with us, but she had to leave. We also have uh, Dan Harris here, who is the MP for Scarborough Southwest. We've got some NDP candidates here with us, who Dan is going to introduce very briefly. Thank you very much, Andrea. And with me, we have Alex Wilson, our candidate in Scarborough Centre. We have Stephanie Brown, our candidate in Ajax. And we have Laura Kasman, our candidate in Scarborough Guildwood. NDP candidate for University Rosedale. My plan is to bring some positive change to politics. Uh, really excited to be active in the Filipino community. My campaign manager, Rena Santos, and volunteers like Romeo come in here, Filipino, and uh, beautiful, vibrant community. So excited to be here at the festival today. All right. I'm Alex Wilson. I'm the federal candidate for the NDP in Scarborough Centre. And uh, it's my delight to be here with this festival and celebrating with the Filipino community. There are many priorities that the NDP has, and I understand that within the community, caregiving is, is something that is important um, to many people and making sure that people are, are well looked after. And so the NDP has always stood with the Filipino community. We want to make sure that there are that the caregivers are, are paid well enough, that we have uh, appropriate legislation protect, to protect them. We've also been a party who stands for health care. We believe that the health care accord that expired in last February, that that should be renewed so that all the provinces across the country know how much money that they're going to get for um, health care. So that the, it's a lot easier to plan so that we can support things like um, hospitals as well as home care programs because we think it's important that people should be able to have a, a choice where they live with, and are cared for, whether that's in the home or in a hospital or in a nursing home. So thank you very much for this opportunity and have a great day.